you so much. A new lawsuit aims to force the state to pay unemployment insurance to people faster, potentially freeing up millions for people left out of work by the coronavirus pandemic. Third Connection News reporter Sean Delancey is live at Dieter headquarters after talking with the attorney behind that lawsuit. Sean. Yeah, Kalina, this lawsuit is essentially a pressure tactic by attorney Mark Thierman up in Reno to try and get unemployment money into people's pockets faster. Right now, thousands of people are going without, and Thierman says that is unacceptable. He filed that lawsuit in the second judicial court yesterday. Essentially, the suit argues that the state is misinterpreting federal guidelines that don't allow someone who is eligible for traditional unemployment to be paid under the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, or PUA, program. That is the payments for for gig workers and the self-employed. The lawsuit argues that there are roughly 60,000 people that are caught in limbo as their PUA cases are reviewed, and Thierman is trying to get the state to lean towards paying someone first and then sorting out the rules later. I'm just saying that I think we need a judge to tell the, the AG to get involved and to tell me that, look, you, you're kind of chasing your tail. You're, you're in the weeds. Now, Dieter has not responded to our request for comment on this lawsuit being filed, but in the past, they have argued that they can't legally pay someone poor benefits if they are eligible for traditional unemployment assistance. They also say that the vast majority of unpaid claims will be paid after review. As of Friday, Dieter paid out nearly 79,000 claims, making up 74 percent of all PUA filings. Now, Thierman says that to be a part of this class action lawsuit, you do not have to call their offices and sign on. He says that if they win this case, people that were eligible for benefits will automatically be a part of it in the end. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News. All right, Sean, thank you so much. Not